Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Scylla Stuff and Things. Tonight we are going to be making a cedar plank salmon with some Brussels sprouts and a salad. So come along and let's get cooking. So first things first, we've got to get these Brussels sprouts going. I'm actually just adding a little bit of olive oil and then I'm going to be putting some seasonings on there. And little spoiler alert, I've already used these seasonings. I know I love them. So thank you to Auntie Nano's for sponsoring today's video because today I'm going to be using the everything seasoning and the firecracker sea salt. This is going to add a little spice to your life. Um, and they are so good. Oh, what did I say? Auntie Nano's. <laughs> or Auntie Nono's. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, but you know. So I'm taking my everything seasoning and I'm gonna put it on there because you can literally use it on everything. Um, I actually like to add it to my salads as well. And then this firecracker sea salt. Now don't use too much if you don't like a little spice in your life, okay? But I know, are you so excited? So this is really good for chicken. It's good for any of your pork dishes and then any of your veggies. So it's just gonna pump up that flavor and it's so good. So we have our cedar planks that we have been soaking for a long time now. And we are taking some salmon fillets. We actually got these from a local butcher and it's so cool, they're Aura King. I had never heard of that before, but he said they're very high end and they're from the coast of Australia, I believe he said, or New Zealand? New Zealand, New Zealand. They're from the coast of New Zealand. So I was super excited to hear about that. And we're just gonna put them on here and then we're gonna use that Auntie Nono's seafood seasoning. This one I have not used yet, but I've heard great reviews on it. So I'm excited to try it out. These seasonings are all kosher. They are vegan, so you know they have good ingredients in them. I am such a spice connoisseur, I feel like. <laughs> um, I love using different spices, so when they reached out to me, I was like, yes, I will definitely try your spices. Um, so again, I have tried all of them. I have not tried this one, but I've tried the other two on things and they're so good. So I imagine this would be good as well. The other cool thing is they're gonna give you 10% off. All you have to do is use code Scylla10. You're gonna get 10% off and I'm gonna show you. So they actually have a gift pack, which I think is so cool. You can get all three and gift it to your favorite chef in the family. People love spices and you can never have too many in my opinion. So make sure you go grab that and let me know down below, what is your favorite spice? Maybe I'll try something new out. I'm gonna throw these in the oven on 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. About 20 minutes, I'm going to pull them out and put some butter on them to make sure they're nice and juicy for us. I went ahead and sauteed some onion and garlic and now I'm putting those Brussels sprouts right in there with the seasonings. Then I'm gonna sprinkle a little balsamic and they're gonna be awesome. If you have kiddos that don't like to eat Brussels sprouts, try it this way. I promise you, they might become a fan. So I just pulled these out after about 20 minutes and I'm just putting some black truffle butter on them. So I personally love to use that everything seasoning once again on our salad. And I've also used it in my avocado spread in the morning. So you could definitely, like it's an everything seasoning. Love the name. I'm so excited about this meal. It smells amazing. Again, go grab these seasonings. I mean, you can't go wrong and you can never have too many seasonings. So don't forget, use my code Scylla10, get 10% off and you can get the gift pack and give it to someone for the holidays. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't done so, and we will see you next time. Bye guys.